Hey everybody, JD Man here. <clears throat> got Super Duty in the shop today. I got uh, finally got my chrome bug shield to put on this. Uh, just took it down to the car wash, sprayed some of the salt off of it. I uh, didn't want to be putting that over top of dirty salt. Um, I did a few things here, little stuff. Um, just to pretty simple uh, so far you know it, there's no holes to drill uh, all the holes are already there provided uh, so I'll show you what I did here so far so the reason why I got the chrome bug shield okay it's a Ford is because it's got this super duty stamped into it you just buy a regular one it's going to cover it up and you're not going to see that that to me that was important to some of y'all might not be um, but I already put these little bumpers, you know, all bug shields have these. I uh, just went and hit it with a little bit of alcohol wipes that they provide in the kit. Um, we'll put, stuck them on at the place that the directions said to, if I can find them. Okay, got the directions here. Uh, I'm not, I don't like the directions because they don't it's all pictures you know I went to school I know how to read <laughs> they can spell it out for me you know I, I, they're doing this because of language crap and you know I speak English um, so in the directions here it shows you where exactly to put these bumpers okay and also, there's a little clear strip that they want you to put on because there's a metal bracket. And uh, right here, I don't know if you all can see it, but I already got this side on. It kind of folds around the uh, lip of the hood there. All right. So, so we'll do this one. And what it is here, you've got this clip that I put in. You've got these three holes here. They've got plastic over them. Peeled the plastic off the one. Put that plastic clip in there. I already got this one in. No, I didn't. I got to put that in for you. All you do, this is all it is. Okay. It just pushes in. That simple. Bam. Okay. Now, and just so y'all realize, I'm 6'3", and I can touch an 8-foot ceiling. Look. <laughs> Look how high that hood is. And I'm standing on the ground. Okay, so I'm going to go peel this off. I already wiped this down with alcohol. We're going to pull this hood down here a little bit. As you can see, there's a line there where the crease is. And uh, I'm just going to wrap that up around there. Make sure she's on good. That way we don't uh, scratch up the hood with this metal clip. And then you start getting, you know, it's aluminum. Aluminum might rust, but it still corrodes, if, you know. Um, if it's not protected. Um, so I've got them in and there's also four of these steel clips or metal clips here. They're threaded for the screws that we're going to be putting in. Okay. Shows you here. It shows you all the tools you need. But all you really need is a T20 bit. Um, okay, of course it tells you to, to wash the hood and all that, and this weather seal here, okay, it says don't remove it, alright, you leave that weather seal on there, see I've already got, there's a, there's a hole there, a hole there, okay, I already got this one in, alright, we'll put the last one in here. Okay, just a rectangular slot. 
I'll put this down. Okay, you see how the the flanges are there. So we're gonna put that in. You gotta put it in straight. You can't be angling it in to one side or the other. You gotta work around that seal. Okay. Just push it up in until she clicks like that. It's in. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got all the clips in. All right. We've got our protectors on the hood. We've got all of our uh, little bumpers on. Next thing is the shield. All right. So get my little torque here. I need a T20. I can't find my snap on one, so we're just going to have to use this for now. So we are. Okay. So we got our T20. Now, bug shield. This is the back side of it. Okay, what in the kit they provide this uh, foam tape, you know, like a weather seal. You got to wipe down with the alcohol prep pads there. Get any grease off of it, oil residue or anything. And put these on. No big deal. And then there's these two slots. If you can see there. There's these two slots in here where these clips just slide up in. They're just, and they expand out, hold them in place. They are, they're loose like that. I wasn't expecting that, but that must be how they're made. So, and you've got all the other clips here. So, look at that. I think that's pretty sharp, even with all the fingerprints on it. So, see here bring this hood down a little bit, or I'm probably gonna have to stand up on my little ladder here I say these are a big truck and here's my screws that we're gonna need and that's gonna take care of it so sit them in there Good they have that plastic. Put that underneath. Well, evidently, they are a tight fit. Let me what I think about that. Yeah. There I did. I'm going to slide her over a little bit. Get the holes lined up. I'm going to have to get that weather stripping back in that little hole there. Okay. 
little bit more, it looks like. Get that one started. One of these started here. We ain't gonna tighten it. All we want to do is get it started. Clip over here. It looks like it comes flush with the edge of the hood there. It does not wrap around the side. Yep, definitely not something. Something's not right there. That's snapping. Where are we at? Well, to get these end ones in, looks like you do have to pull that weather stripping off because of those clips get in the way if they're not turned into the right spot. And last one here. Okay. I'm gonna 
pull it down here and take a look. There we go, tightening things up. Let's see what happened here. This one rubber come loose. So, push that down there a little bit. That's what was providing the extra tension there. Okay, so we'll want to uh, tighten these up and pull that in against that snub, that rubber bumper there, that way she's not flopping around. Okay, we'll go in. And we lost that one too. Okay, we got the other one here back on. Must be because it's cold. So I'd recommend uh, if you're doing this in the winter time, let it sit inside for a while and get warm. I didn't do that. I brought it right in here and I said after I washed it. So hopefully we'll be all right. So, I'm going to tighten these down now, so I'm happy with uh, where it's at. I'm not, uh, it, the directions say to use a torque wrench, I'm not doing it. I said this is just to show you what's involved. Um, 28 inch pounds so you know you don't have to go cranking down so that's why this here is more than enough you know I'm not going to be able to get a lot of leverage on that And you'll hear that clicking whenever you, that'll be that clip expanding up inside the hood there to kind of lock it in place. And these end ones, you don't, you really want to be sure you're not clamping down on them because they're just plastic and just nylon or whatever. So be careful. Um, if you're not sure, use a torque wrench, inch pound. Um, so. Cover them back up. Hopefully I can get these clips out of here without going to get new ones. Okay, I'm going to have to go up to Napa here and uh, get me some clips. I doubt if I'm going to fish that back in there. Yeah. I know I'm not. 
So yeah, I'm gonna have to get some clips off of Napa. So we can put them back in then. Yeah, I must have got myself with the razor blade when I was opening that thing up. Um Now you see, you know, you just be careful, don't do like I did, just try and finesse that, that you can get that on there. Um, without pulling that out, just something to watch for. We've got 2,500 miles on the truck, um, been working good. Um, running up and down the mountain, I mainly just drive to work. Um, I'm getting close to 16.7 miles to the gallon. Um, so, you know, I would like a little bit better, but it is what it is. Um, big truck. But, um, Still got a little bit of a rough ride. Four wheel drive, yeah, we had some nasty weather here. Four wheel drive works good. I like the uh, electronic locking differential. That's pretty slick. Like when you get above 20 mile an hour, it automatically turns it off. Um, so that's neat. I haven't really hauled any weight yet. I'm hoping here sometime soon to make a trip down south and looking to get a box trailer and uh, hauling it up here to haul the motorcycles in. So, um, that's all I can think of right now. Um, I've got mud flaps for this, so I'll do an install video on there for it also, you know, direct bolt on so we'll do a video for that too and uh, thanks for watching hope you got something out of this and uh, be sure to like subscribe share your comments uh, what you'd like to see whatever um, let's see more of the truck stuff um, just let me know and uh, like I said thanks for watching and take care and stay safe Hey guys, I'm sorry. I forgot. I closed the hood. Got my fingerprints and my bloody finger. Got the blood off of it. And uh, that's what she looks like with the, with the chrome shield on it. We all can see that. So uh, that way that'll protect that hood. You won't get any... Uh, stone chips there on the front keep keep that paint from bubbling up it's a good solid nice thick uh, nice thick shield there so uh, yeah well hope you all like that again thanks for watching you all have a good day